So we've got the technology part, and you know the other part that's evolving is our philosophical understanding, our this, this shit. How we can describe our circumstance, and how honest we can be about it, and how accurate we can do it, in terms of understanding where we are, and what we're doing here, and how we can function, and what the solutions are. And that's us the other side to this intelligence thing. And I would argue that it's just inevitable that this negative perception is going to have to be the winner in the end because it's the truth it is that simple it's the truth i'm sorry but it's the truth the universe is cold and chemically and it's full of acid and nasty and it's just brutal it's matter cooking it's matter freezing it's matter flying apart and in this little sanctuary where we have a little bit of protection this happens but all this is, all this chemistry is, has been manufactured to consume, reproduce, cannibalize, you know, through a mechanism of sensitive want, a mechanism of passion that compels us, not reason, not logic, not the intelligence. The intelligence can only really be a slave to our addiction in terms of having a, a functionality. I mean, if we weren't making a problem, intelligence would have nothing to do. The best part of intelligence is figuring out how to do something to satisfy and comfort the afflicted. And just by bizarre circumstance, we're able to step out of the maze, to climb up on the walls because we have this intelligence, to look at it, to survey the circumstance, and to say, is this a game worth playing? And certainly to say, is it ethical? to force somebody else to play it. I don't think so, because there's nothing to be gained. There's nothing to be gained to drag somebody out of nowhere and throw them into this poorly constructed somewhere. It's not good enough. It can't be good enough, because the only thing it feeds on is this competition, is this gratification through consumption. And the only way to consume to satisfy an ego is usually um, at something else's expense. It's not a good story. Our origins aren't a good story. What life is doing in the real world, the natural world, isn't a good story. And the easiest solution is to quit imposing it, quit creating new victims.